Hello my dear ones, today we talk Thai Airways, an airline that had a really high reputation in the world. Then they had their big crash before the Covid crisis actually and everybody thought they're really done. But now they seem to be rising like phoenix from the ashes. So today we go on Thai Airways business class on the Airbus A350 and I cannot tell you how much excited and curious I am. I'm Chris. I've been crazy about planes since childhood as an opera singer and also privately. I'm constantly on the go with way over a hundred detailed reports on my two channels. Everything is about airlines, low cost, economy class, business class and first class, but also about hotels and exciting travel destinations worldwide on all continents with lots of tips, insider knowledge and above all, always honest. And today we are flying with the once wonderful Thai Airways and find out what's left. So join me on Thai Airways business class on the Airbus A350 in four hours from Bali to Bangkok. Bali is a dream destination for many and the name alone sounds very exotic. It is indeed an exciting island, although there are many places in Asia with nicer beaches and clearer waters. But the combination of beach, large volcanoes, proud ancient Hindu temples and a few remnants of a former hippie lifestyle makes the island special. And you can rent dreamy pool villas at quite low prices. Unfortunately, located between Asia and Australia, Bali is getting really crowded. At one temple, people even lined up for two hours just for a photo. If you want to experience the island to some extent, you have to rent a car and you need strong nerves to drive in Bali because the streets are far too narrow for the non-stop extreme traffic with the chance of an accident every minute, so that's far from relaxation. But there's a lot to see once you look over the heads of the other tourists. But now we are boarding our beautiful Airbus A350 to Bangkok after the A380, this is my favorite plane and Thai Airways created a pretty nice cabin inside, modern but with the airline's exotic patterns. This Thai Airbus A350 has 321 seats, of which 32 are in business class and 289 in economy class. In business class, all seats have direct aisle access and the middle seats are either snugly together with the consoles facing the aisle or they're far apart from each other. So there's something for everyone. For window seats, the better ones are the ones with the console at the aisle as they're more private and you can look right out the window. Even though this type of business class is not new, I like it very much. And here we're going to the runway. Thai Airways is one of the airlines that I've known for the longest time because my relatives have been living in Thailand for about 40 years already. So naturally, I've been flying on Thai Airways since, uh, since I was a small child. Back then, the airline had a really high reputation in the world and you were happy to just uh, take a few more Deutschmarks or Euros just to fly on Thai Airways instead of another airline. Well, then came the big crash because the airline had to fight with quite a lot of corruption scandals for many years so that was really known and it was also quite known that if you know the right people you can have a job at Thai Airways in all kinds of departments no matter if you're really really qualified for it or not and um, you just needed to have the right connections but for an international airline that's of course not gonna end well and everybody knew it's something was gonna happen and it did they had to um, uh, announce insolvency but now it looks like things are being solved everything is uh, being taken care of and now it looks like the airline is on the way to recovery and maybe becoming a great airline again so that would be really nice actually Thank you. 
and we're already in the air. Before the flight I went to the lounge. All business class passengers of Thai Airways have access to a lounge and in Bali that's not a Thai Airways lounge but a contracted lounge that gives access also to uh, business class passengers of other airlines. And actually the lounge in Bali is not so bad so here are a few pictures. I was there quite early and had the entire lounge to myself and also took a shower, but later it was completely filled up with passengers of several flights to Australia. And there's also the first surprise of the day, Balinese wine, both white and red, and at least the white wine tasted really good. Have you ever heard of Balinese wine? Share it in the comments. Then boarding was very nice, I got welcomed very nicely uh, by the crew. There was right away a selection of welcome drinks, that was champagne or the signature drink, that's a bluish um, a lilac colored um, drink, very nice but very sweet also. Then they had iced tea and water or juices. Then there was a hot wet towel on a little silver tray and uh, also the menu you could always select from the menu. They don't have a paper menu here but they show you a tablet uh, with a selection that you can choose from. So we've reached our cruising altitude and to make the long hard wait for food easier the crew can just buy with more drinks with another drink service and this time with the whole selection that is available on board I got some more champagne that's Laurent Perrier and uh, then I also got the mysterious uh, violet bluish uh, signature drink and there's also warm nuts and there's a really nice selection or melange of pecan nuts, cashews, almonds and some dried fruits. So I'm really impressed. So and faster than I thought they came also up with the appetizers and that's here salmon rolls here with some very cute nice little rose petals and I see some salmon caviar and um, then I got some garlic bread there was a whole bread basket with a selection of different kinds of breads so I'm pretty impressed this is a regional flight Thai Airways seems to go back to where they used to be so where's the loo as always with the Airbus A350 the toilets are rather small but they were clean and the amenities included eau de toilette and hand cream from the Parisian cosmetic company Institut Carité. Now before we continue with more food, the bed and a look at economy class, now would be the best time for you to subscribe to the channel with the little bell next to it so you don't miss anything here. You would really make my day, you help the channel to grow, it's free and I promise you many more exciting airline and travel reports from all parts of the world. Welcome on board. And the main course has arrived already and from a whole selection of options I opted for a beef curry, that's a beef masaman curry and so that's a gang masaman nea and with it I'm having some champagne because it's just so much easier for everybody and it's also so nice and I'm having garlic bread again even though it does not fit at all to the curry but somehow garlic bread fits to almost everything, maybe not carrot cake but it's not carrot cake, so I'm happy. Well, to be honest, I just wanted to do a, a time lapse of all the main course eating now, but <laughs> the main course is so good that I just had to stop at the first bite because it's such an amazing dish. I mean, uh, Masman curry has been voted uh, as being the best dish in the world for a couple of times already. I don't know who voted for that, but they voted for it. Anyway, I understand because it's an amazing dish, so basically it's already a good dish to choose. But this one is just very, very good. So many flavors and so nice, a little spicy, a little sweet. Really, really fantastic. But now I'm gonna do the time lapse anyway. After the main course I got served a little cheese plate and it was actually quite nice. Um, uh, maybe you've seen my Singapore Airlines first class sweets report. Uh, that's, uh, if you haven't seen it, it's really quite worthwhile watching. It's the most impressive 
uh, first cut that's out there at the moment hard to beat I mean you can always beat it but there's nothing at the moment on the aviation market so you have a whole room not just a seat for yourself and uh, why I say it actually the cheese that they had in first class suites was really not good it was discounted quality and here it was really better on this regional business class flight so afterwards I got some chocolate dessert even and that is a chocolate caramel dessert with even some gold leaves and uh, a rose petal and I got some coffee of course I can also have more champagne but it's always good to know when you should stop So the lunch or dinner service is over, thank God, I'm so full, but happy full. Uh, the dishes tasted really very good and um, the beverages were nice, there was a good selection of food and beverages and especially on this still regional flight of 4 hours, it was a really positive surprise, really well done. By the way, choosing economy class would have been pretty smart on this flight too. Of the 289 seats, not more than 30 were occupied and the seats offer footrests and quite good seat pitch as well as pretty large screens with USB ports. And now we have some time to have a look at the entertainment system and that's quite nice already because they have a camera here. So you have a camera view from the tail wing onto the plane. So that's really nice. We had already a look at that. Uh, when we took off from Bali. Uh, other than that, there's a nice selection of movies, TV show, uh, series, TV shows and also some music. Um, that's a quite decent selection. It's not huge, but it's sufficient for a long flight. Um, if you like classical music, well, I mostly sing opera, but I hardly ever listen to opera or classical music although I love it of course and I find it very important um, the classical music selection is not really big there's maybe a selection of five six people playing music and that's like some stars and that was it so if you're into a niche repertoire you won't get that here on Thai Airways but on a flight from Bali to Bangkok it's maybe not that important And now we're lying down a little bit and actually the bed is quite comfortable it's wide enough you have some space for your arms because on one side uh, the arm fits under the armrest and the other armrest goes down so that's quite nice and you have some space for your feet it's not a super tight foot coffin i mean it's still a foot coffin but it's not too too tight so you can still move your feet a little it's not like the throne seats of swiss or edelweiss or Malaysia Airlines Airbus 330 or the Edelweiss version of Eurowings where it's a really uh, kind of a grave feeling like you're buried in a grave anyway so that's quite okay and what I forgot to say before is that the headsets are noise cancelling so they're not really over ear they're more on ear but they're noise cancelling they're not the best quality it's not Bang & Olufsen or a Bose but they're quite okay. Actually, it's nice to listen to some music with them. And we've started our descent into Bangkok. So what's Thai Airways business class like on this four hour flight on the Airbus A350? Well, first of all, the crew is really lovely. They're very welcoming great people actually very friendly and also proactive you don't have to ring the bell like five times until somebody turns up but they're really here present in the cabin throughout the flight so that was really quite nice to see then the food had really good quality I mean it wasn't the best I've ever tasted on board a plane but it was really on the upper range especially on such a short flight of still just four hours and the selection was really very good the quality was very good the taste was good and also the selection of beverages was pretty good on such a short flight in the region of uh, Southeast Asia so altogether there was really a very nice surprise then the seat is comfortable I mean it's um, 
is similar to the seats of, for example, the Airbus A380 of Emirates, also Airbus A330 and 350 of Iberia. Altogether, a very comfortable seat. You have enough uh, space for your feet, you have enough space on the sh shoulder area, and I could imagine could be quite nice also to be on a long haul flight overnight to get a quite good rest. So altogether a really nice surprise, positive surprise and it looks like Thai Airways is getting back on track again to where they might want to be again sometime in the future and I guess that should be in the top 10. But the way to get there is quite tough, the competition is really strong but you never know, maybe they will make it. So my dear ones, we've arrived at Bangkok Suvarnapum. I hope you really like this report and if yes, then have a look around my channel. There's lots of videos about uh, Thailand and also of course airlines worldwide. And I hope to see you again very soon here at Travel Sing Fly.